this is how everything is stuffed in there. So let's take a closer look at how I managed to pack it all in there. Okay, for a closer look, I'm using this 850 milliamp 2S LiPo battery. It's a nice thinner size one because I don't have a lot of room to fit it in there. It does have a red JST connector, but my ESC has the Adenes or T connector. So I just have an adapter running to it in order to fit it in there. I do have some 2S LiPos that do have a T connector, but they're a little fatter and don't quite fit in there as well. So that's how the battery fits. All right, a closer look at how I got the receiver stuffed in on this side and the ESC stuffed in on this side. I did have to cut out quite a bit of the area in here in order to be able to stuff it in there while keeping the interior because there's not a whole lot of space to get it in there. So let me dig that out to kind of show a little more detail. So the receiver I'm using is from a Tacon RC car, a hobby grade car that I have. It's a smaller receiver, only has two channels and the bind channel. So I've got the ESC in channel here, servo, and then the lights in the bottom. This is nice because this is a smaller, more compact one, so it fits in there a little better. I've disconnected the receiver. This is the wire to the lights and the servo wire here. And here is the brushless ESC. You can see down in there, those are the wires connect there. Pull that out. Okay, so that's the wires to the motor ESC. So then I just stuff those up in there that way and then just kind of wiggle the back of the, res the ESC into that corner there. So I'll show that. Okay, so just shove the wires in there and then the ESC, I just kind of slide it down in there between the bottom of where the seats are and to where that opening is right there. I just kind of push it in this way and then kind of push it over to the side here. stuffed into that side. This is the wire plug in. Like so. Again for the receiver, it's small enough to fit down in here. When plugged in, let me plug the wires in and I'll push that in there. Okay, I've got the receiver with the wires hooked up, and what I do is I just put the non-wire end in first. Just kind of give it a twist, fits down in there. Okay, there it is in there, and I'm just going to push it to the side. And now it's just a matter of getting the battery in there and managing all the wires. This is the Tacon remote with the two channel receiver but I also have just a regular hobby grade slightly bigger radio with the larger four channel receiver and you can get them both in there it's just a little tighter to fit this one in. If you have a larger four channel receiver it's a little bit tighter fit but you can still stuff it in there if you wiggle it just right. Let's see if I can get it in there. Yeah, it was a tighter fit, but I was also able to fit a four channel in there. But the two channel fits better. Okay, I got the battery connected. Now it's just a matter of stuffing it in there. Let's see what I can do here. I find the easiest thing to do is put my battery in first, clear out some wires, put the battery in first, and then work on stuffing in the rest. Okay, now I've got the wires Kind of all folded up and wound up in there. Let me put the door back on. Okay, just slid the door back in. Now let's see if I can close it. Okay, everything fits. So that's how I stuffed everything in there. 